Um, before I insert the oral fan and go early, I need to check that the mouth area is clear. To do this, because I'm not suspecting a cervical injury, I can do the triple airway maneuver, which is the head tilt, the chin length, and the chin thrust. To make sure that that's all clear. If I was suspecting a cervical injury, I would just do the double airway maneuver. Next, I need to measure up the OPA, and I can do this by uh, measuring it from the tip of the mouth to the corner of the chin, which I can see it should be an accurate fit. So, um, then I insert it upside down um, until it reaches the soft palate. Then I turn 180 degrees and make sure it sits flush against the lips. Then I observe the chest to make sure that there's bilateral air entry. And I auscultate um, to make sure that there's equal entry into all regions. Before I insert the nasopharyngeal airway, I um, need to check that the nose is clear and I can, if I'm not suspecting a cervical injury, I can tilt the head. If I was, I would not tilt the head. So I can check that it's clear and that there are no obvious deformities or trauma in the nose region. Next, I measure up the NPA and I'm measuring from the tip of the nose to the trace of the ear. Um, then I lubricate the NPA and I insert it, usually insert it into the right side, but if there's any obvious deformities, I'll insert it into the left. So as I go, um, I'm just wiggling it slightly. Um, if I were to uh, meet resistance, I would just stop and um, remove the NPA. And I'm make sure, making sure that it sits flush against the nostril like that. Then I would watch the chest to make sure that there's um, bilateral air entry. And I would also take the, the chest to make sure that there's equal entry into all regions. And I would also take the rest of the chest as well. Um, and then lastly, I would just check the nose to see that there's no um, flaring of the nostril <laughs> and that it fits properly. G'day Tom, I'm Dan, um, this is Tamara, um, we're just um, a suspected um, pelvic fracture, so I'm going to put you on the, on the pelvic, I'm sorry, Sam pelvic sling. Um, first of all, I'm just going to check if you've got anything on your pockets. Um, do you have anything in your pockets? I have just my phone in my right pocket. Okay, something that's on. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, so, first thing that I'm going to do is we're just going to feed the buckle underneath your knees. I'm just going to lift up your yeah, slightly there. Pass it through to tomorrow. Okay, and then we're just going to lift you up a little bit, Tom, and um, slide it up. Just looking for the um, greater trochanter here and the uh, pubic symphys from your light upwards. Um, so just um, three, two, one, one lift. Three, two, one, lift. Okay, I'm just going to check that it's um, in line and looks like that it is. I'm just going to feed this through the buckle. Just going to hear a couple of clicks, Tom. Don't do it or anything. Alright, I'm just going to click that through until we hear the clicks. And I'm going to tie it down. Um, just make sure that it's in line. You feel alright there? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> hey, how are you doing? I'm Dave from QAS, and this is Dan. So we're just here to help you out. That's a fraction, yeah. Yeah, just gonna slide this under your knee and up around your hip there. Yeah, a little bit there. Do you have any pain at the moment in your leg? Yes, yeah, it's sore. It's sore. If you had to uh, give me a rating on one to ten, ten being the worst pain you've ever felt and, and uh, zero being one at all, where are you right now? Um, probably around six. Okay, no worries. We'll get some pain or uh, pain for you. Yeah, so you so I'm just going to slide your foot into this. This is the uh, dyno traction split. Looking after that pain changes. Yeah. Can you feel me here? Mm -hmm. Great. No worries. So we're just going to extend these here into the collar. Alright. And then I'm just going to do this up around your foot, around your ankle. How does that feel? Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, 
So what we're going to do now is uh, put this one up into the green. So if you could do that for me. So it's just going to extend away a little bit. Let me know if that paint changes up. Still filming here? Mm -hmm. Check cat refill. Great. I'm still on the green. Okay, so we're just going to uh, tighten these up here. Just put this one back in there. Just going to elevate your foot a little. There we are. I'm just going to let this pressure out. Alright, you still filming here? Mm -hmm. Cat refill is good. So I'm just going to send the second officer to get the uh, stretcher out and take the ambulance and get you to the hospital. Yep. Alright, so because you've fallen, we're just going to take some spinal precautions. I'm just going to stabilise your neck by grabbing onto your shoulders here and supporting your head with my forearms. Alright, um, if I have any questions for you, just answer with a yes or no. Don't try and move your head, just keep it as still as possible, so don't shake or nod or anything. Um, we'll just start off by getting Christy to measure you up for a cervical spinal collar. She'll do this by placing her hand on your shoulder and measuring with her fingers to your chin. And then she'll measure that up against the cervical spinal collar. Is it tall? Yep, and I'll just keep just slide that under his neck. So you can just see the collar coming out the other end. And just How's that feel? Good. Is that alright? Okay, we'll just go and get a stretch out and we'll get you up to the ankles. Alright. Alright, Sam, we're just going to get you out of this situation here. So we're going to uh, place this nice jacket on you. It's just an extraction device. So we're going to slide it through at a 45 degree angle. And shimmy it down. Now, just try to stay as still as possible for me. Okay. Just going to grab the yellow cushion there and decompress the air out of that and squeeze it behind your back for some more mass support. Okay, I'm just going to place the um, jacket underneath your arms there. I'm just going to ask Dave, uh, Dave and Christy to just help you out there. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm just going to grab these groin straps and slide them through under your legs. And shimmy them up towards your groin then. Can you tell me if you feel any discomfort from these straps? Okay, and we're going to grab two green straps from behind here. We'll strap them across your chest and they're going to cross over. We're going to have to pull them very tight, so just let me know if we pinch any skin.
just going to grab some head cushions just to put behind your head here. And we're going to place a chin strap across your chin. And then one final strap across your forehead. Okay, and now we're ready to get 